children are being lied to, there's a constant whisper of, I'll keep you safe. But in order to have a need for safety, our children have to believe that they are in danger. They have to be able to see or imagine something to fear around every corner. To control a person by fear is cruel, but to control an entire group of people by fear, that is manipulative. And some might even say tyrannical. This tactic though has been used before. In fact, it's been used for centuries from literally scaring the hell out of people to creating armies that completely eradicate undesirables. We are living in a time when the definitions of words are changing. Trauma used to mean that people had a real or perceived real threat of physical harm. But today, harm can mean something as simple as someone disagreeing with you. Our young people are no longer being encouraged to come to the table and have a conversation. Instead, they are encouraged to protest, make demands, walk out of schools. And when you can't have those meaningful conversations where good ideas, possibly from both sides, can be met somewhere in the middle, then the best ideas can't rise to the top. Our children are being taught through influencers, politicians, teachers, school officials, and counselors that they are in danger and that only they can keep them safe. But the point of maturity, the reason that we send our children off to higher education is so that they can become responsible adults. We want to give them wings to fly. We want to help them thrive in a world that does not revolve around them. Sadly, lately it seems that our kids are going to school, in many cases, to become less mature, less reasonable. Our systems, though put in place trying to help, are actually causing more harm than good. In order to heal our children, we have to help them grow. We have to help them recognize truth. We have to help them prioritize work and see meaning in contributing to society in a healthy way. We have to teach them to be discerning, and that's not very easy. They are encouraged to become more and more complacent and more and more reliant on something other than themselves. But make no mistake, these kids are our children yours and mine, and we still have the responsibility to guide them. No one knows or loves your child better than you do. And when they feel that, and that relationship is strong, when you become their person, they won't go looking outside for somebody to fill that void. Our children need to know that it is okay to fail. It is okay to question. And when they fall, we will be there to catch them. When they feel secure in this basic truth, they won't so easily fall into the lies, the myth of safety. There is something so beautiful about birds flying free, but today freedom has been usurped and hidden with a gilded cage. It's pretty enough to entice, but it's still confining and ends with a lock. And sadly, this is a myth that so many young people and adults alike are falling for this idea that we need to be kept safe above all else. We need to walk away from that lie. Our country was built on the ideas of freedom, on the ideas of resilience, on the ideas of doing something new that had never been done before and thriving in it. As parents, we need to take back our power as families. It's the biggest threat to those who would take away our freedoms. Summer is coming up and some of the ways that we can regain that relationship is by making sure that our priorities are in order with our children. We need that relationship with them because when we are their people, they won't go looking elsewhere. We have to make our children fall in love with freedom. We have to help our children recognize wolves in sheep's clothing. We have to restore communication, respect, and resilience. And we have to replace their fear with hope and with joy. All right, friends, this was another five minutes or less. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. This is my way of standing up. But one thing that you can do is share this with another person who might be questioning and wondering what in the world is going on with our world today. Because they're right. If you want to know more about how fear and fragility is being pushed on our children, please look at these two longer form videos. I'm blessed to be able to speak with a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge in psychology, in psychotherapy, and in just standing up and protecting our kids. So please take a look at those and I'll see you next time. Bye.